Kev on Magpie 24-7. And I hope he's all good. What? What a performance, man. Newcastle United, five. <laughs> five, man. Like, when was the last time we've seen Newcastle score five at home? Absolutely crazy. In a 5-1 win against a very, very solid Brentford side. And we're talking uh, through the week. And I was on other podcasts like True Faith and um, through their Patreon, which I recommend. <laughs> but... Yeah, it, it just I've been seeing through the week I thought the high turnover would be the undoing of Brentford today and it came to pass. Like, the 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 relentless work off the ball really helped us today. Um I think two of the goals was turnovers from the goalkeeper. Uh Bruno Gomorra's winning the ball in midfield, like it was just an absolutely brilliant performance today. And the worst thing is, right? It doesn't even look like for a lot of that game until it went to 2-1. We didn't really leave first gear. And that's the scary thing. Like what this Newcastle team is capable of. And fair play to Brentford. You know, like, I, like I've, I've liked Brentford since I came into the Premier League. A team that has no fear. I, I, I appreciate teams that no fear. In fact, they're very reminiscent of Eddie Howe's old Bournemouth side that first came into the Premier League and were holding their own and doing very well in that regard. The reminders a lot of them. Um and to be fair to them, they never gave up. They never never threw in the towel. Even when they were five one down, four one down, they were they were still trying to make get get chances and stuff like that. But like it's it's nice to be able to say that we were far too good for a team. It but we were today. Bruno Gomorrez, oh my god. <laughs> Like I can't, but like I know, with the takeover comes with a, a like last year, like we knew we we're gonna bring a, a higher level of playing, like over a long run with the investment and stuff like that. I didn't think we'd bring anything like him in, not for a, not for a while. I thought, I thought we'd have to like, I thought we'd have to like really, and like make ourselves one of the better teams in the division. Before bringing a player his quality in. Like I'm going to go out on a limb. And say he's the best midfielder I've seen play for Newcastle United. I started. Like I was born in 97. So I missed the entertainers just. When I was starting to like come in. And like go to the matches and stuff. He's the best midfielder I've seen play for Newcastle United. And it isn't even close. Like. Like I, I, like, I loved Johan Kabay for a long time. um, But he made. Like Grimoire at times looks. Makes. Uh, Johan Kabayle like Jack Colback. He, he's he's just he's insane. It, it's just unbelievable how good he is. He's he's good defensively. He's good going forward. He's got skill. He's got a good pass on him. He, he, he's he, as you've seen today two goals. He's 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 got a good shot on him. Like there's nothing he can't do, and he does it very well. And he's got an amazing mentality as well. Um, and I think he's caught the bug as well of Newcastle United, which a lot of players do get. Um, but yeah, what if they? I just I I kind of I haven't got enough words to explain how much of a of a brilliant player we've got on my hands. Like you don't need me to tell you. Like you can see him on the field and how good, how classy. Like I genuinely think we've got a world class midfielder uh, on my hands. And when he plays, he's sh when he plays like that, he's unplayable. And he played the same. He played very similar against Fulham last week. And there's like the solid midfielders on like Fulham and Brentford, but they just they kind of get near him. He's just he's just too good, <laughs> and like it was just it was just nice. It it was just nice to see Newcastle play really well at home. I think something like that's been coming. I'm not gonna lie in terms of like a home performance where we win by a good couple of goals because we've had a couple of frustrating games at home, like a couple of draws and stuff like that and. Yeah, but today we were just flawless, absolutely brilliant. Uh, the only mistake defensively we made was the Dan Burnham ball, and even then you could say it was a slight nudge. But for me, I seen the handball from where I was sitting on the other side of the feet, other side of the pitch, so I thought it was a penalty initially. And uh, what really impressed us as well, like when we went when it went to two one, a lot of the like uh, I'm used to Newcastle sitting behind the ball and seeing out ten minutes before they start working their way back into the game. But 
Newcastle scored straight away, got right back on the boil, went up with gear, and we blew them away. It was just, it was just nice. It, like, it was just brilliant to see a uh, Newcastle team respond like that. Uh, the atmosphere was banging today. There's just so many, so many good, good, good things from this. Even, even Jacob Murphy played well, and I. I've slated Jacob Murphy all season. Every time he's been involved, been fuck's sake, why is he playing? And I was today, I was like, why the fuck is he playing? He shouldn't be playing. He's no any no any good enough. Goes and scores today. Fucking typical, but you know what? I'm happy to be proved wrong on today. But uh, you you know, like fair play at home, like he came in and did a good job and if he's gonna keep playing like that, then he deserves to stay in the team. But I think he'll be dropped next week, mind, because uh, Maxi's gonna be back to full fitness. But you know, like it, it's just it it's just nice to see the squad firing on all cylinders. Um, I thought Botman was good as well. Um, I, I, like honestly, he's so fast. He's so athletically sound. He uh, reads the game really well. Cause in those in those tight spaces where Brentford were getting in behind, he was just clear, clear uh, cleaning the shit up every single time. Just absolutely brilliant in defence. Got a cracking defender on my hands with him in mind. Uh, Miggy Almiron four. Jack Grealish one this season. Um, play like Almiron, he said. Play like Almiron. I bet he wishes he could. <laughs> but um, I it, just a, just a like a, a brilliant performance, a brilliant result. Puts him up to sixth in the league table, which is which is fantastic. But like, there's so much positivity. It's unreal. Like you compare it to this, that like to this time like last season when. Like would just been beat off Wolves and it was like looking quite bleak and Steve Bruce was still the manager and like you compare that to now it's just insane like it's it's a really good vibe going to St James's and for the first time probably in my life like we've got Man United next week kind of wait me first away day since before COVID like uh, for me so I can't, I can't wait to go um, but I'm actually going down to Old Trafford with the feeling that we can nick something that we can get something because we have we've shown a good amount against teams that like to come out and play, uh, play play from the back and stuff like that. We've we've shown that. So yeah, um, I'm confident going into next week. But get your comments in. Let us know how you felt about the game. And uh, I love you and leave you. See you later. Ta-da. Get <laughs>